Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and in today's video I wanted to run one more kind of uh, difficult test on the RP9 V2 quality test before I summarize and review this printer. And so I basically found this mesh skull over on Thingiverse that I thought was a really cool print, perfect for my Glow in the Dark PLA filament. So we're going to go ahead and get that all um, downloaded and into our Repetitor host and sliced up and print it out and see how it turns out. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so I have imported the skull into Repetitor Host and basically I just went ahead and scaled it up um, so that it is twice as large as the default import because the default import was just way too small. Um, I actually wanted to do it like three or four times bigger, um, at least three times, but I went ahead and went with two. Um, then for my slicer I actually did 0% infill because the way that this is like a mesh skull, I don't really see any need for infill. There's nowhere that really needs to be infill as long as I do my layers accordingly and my uh, shell I shouldn't have any issues um, having no infill at all because again it's so thin and it's basically just like an outline there's no need to have any infill at all so under my slicer um, I got my temperature set at 205 for the extruder I don't have a heated bed on the RP9 so zero for that and I'm doing 0.2 layer height along with 0.8 for the shell so let's go ahead and slice this up and then we'll go ahead and print this bad boy out all right, so here we have the sliced model. It's kind of lagging a little bit, there we go. Um, but yeah, everything looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and save this and send it over to the RP9 through Octoprint and let's get to printing. So here is the final print, which I think turned out insane. I could not be happier with the quality. I was really excited to print this print out just because the fact that it's a skull and it's badass, but also just because of the mess, but I really wasn't sure how well it would turn out. Um, but the end result is absolutely insane. I think it looks killer with this Glow in the Dark PLA. This is by far like my favorite Glow in the Dark print that I've printed and by far one of my favorite prints I've ever printed. So it's definitely safe to say that the RP9 V2 is no disappointment in terms of quality with the actual printer itself. Um, I'll place a link in the description if you want to find out more about this printer or this print. I'll place a link to that as well. Um, don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe for more great videos. And if you want to support the channel furthermore, I'll place a link in the description down below to where you can do so on our Patreon. Once again, guys, this is Daniel from ModBot. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, I am out. Peace, guys.